Hey everyone, VinBossMan19 here. Welcome back to DDO. Today we are doing Ironstone Inlet, which is a extreme challenge quest. So we will have a hireling with us for this one. This one's not that easy to do if you try to solo it. Like I'm not. Even like, I'm not even that much of a veteran to solo this one. Then we begin our journey into the inlet. It's also nighttime, which makes it even better. Okay. And then this camp down here. Several patrols are winding through the inlet's valleys. Take caution as you advance. We got a hobby on the moves out there a couple of times. These camps appear well organized, as if the crew expects to stay for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So this quest shouldn't take me too long to do. It's just that those damn hobgoblin witch doctors make it difficult. So there's hobble the hobgoblin. Which is an He's an optional hobgoblin that can show up like at any camp, I think. Ooh. He can drop a repeating crossbow. Um Okay, so that's two captive members that we crew members that we've Rescued, and then we go over here. There's another camp, but this one hasn't. Sometimes can have it over. Third crew member. Uh, this one I don't think has a chest. Up. That's strange. Oh, this is the camp down here. There's some ogres over here. Uh, on, we're actually gonna get Malarin to heal us. He was out of our range. There's not much. Ogres up here, I think there's some hot gal in which stuff. Oh, Shot a hot gal in another camp. Yeah, it's those damn hobgoblin witch doctors. I just that one. They can cast Ray of Enfeeblement. That's a treasure bag. I don't think this one had a chest either. Okay. This one does have a chest. Goblin Witch Doctors is they, uh, they can, they're stealthy, unlike their kobold counterparts. Now, one of the objectives we have to do is kill Ogre First Mate Dinks, who is located up here. As you can see, his name popped up. The briny air stinks unmistakably of Ogre. Dinks, the first mate of the Bowman. Let's see. Okay. 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 
floor, now I'm burdened. Okay, let me open up our chest. There's four things. Got the parchment. Yeah, Yar's orders say he's to sail on Stormreach and blockade the harbor. I don't think rest Keep him from leaving oh, the inlet. Oh, you could just get rid of that by resting at a shrine. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay. Got our mischief bonus for breaking 13 breakables already. It's probably gonna wear off. This is probably at least a shrine. Oh well. Okay. Now we can go around. I think there's some camps that we can get yet down that way. So. Now you need to get six of these. To blow up the, uh... To blow up Yar Yar's ship. Uh... Because you've got three. Oh, there's some hobgoblins over here. Wait 30 fucking seconds for that. Raven fever. Oh, hello. some kobolds with this one. Really? I break a breakable, shoot a kobold shaman, and that's what gets my attention. our way over this way. No, he wasn't near us, but still the hobgoblin might as well shoot him. Oh, that's where the final crew member is, but if we go this way, if you're not noticed by that other camp over there, there's an ogre over there. We go through here. Oh, The marksman I'm not so worried about. Okay, here's Stain Tusk, the bugbear that we were requested to come see. Yeah, he's already dead. Now we speak with Matt and, and Matt. And now we kill Kobold's now we kill the Kobold Cook Scar Tongue. Okay, but first we are gonna heal ourselves by throwing it out of the wall. Or somehow it went through the wall. Guys, over here. I've got them um, some bunk bears. Okay, let me go this way. And then Scar Tunk's camp is like just over here.
flails in agony and stops moving altogether. Do we have the ransack bonus already, or do we not? Just have the vandal bonus. Okay, have to wait 30 seconds. You have found six powder kegs. Use them to trap Yar Yar's oh, schooner while he's ashore. You have saved eight crewmates from the Banshee. Okay, and I think that filled up our inventory. No, it did not. How? I have no idea. Let me walk over to the ship. I think there's just two hobbits and Maltzman and a player. That was not a war player. There's a hobgoblin up there. This small vessel barely looks seaworthy. The draft of Yaya's flagship must be too deep to anchor in such really shallow water. Maybe tricking him and I fell in the water. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go shoot this hobgoblin up there. Yar-Yar's schooner has been transformed into a floating bomb. You hear a bellowing voice not far away. Probably yar yar realizing Ship, real he's quickly, stuck ashore. Real quickly, real quickly, real quickly, real quickly. Yar-Yar's schooner has been discovered at the end of the inlet. Yar-Yar would be stranded without it. Oh! Meltmaster suffered a lot of damage from that. Oh my god, he suffered a lot of damage. How the fuck he didn't get up or something? Chip Witch Doctor is up there. Yayar's there. There's a Witch Doctor though. Please. Oh, that's not good. Yar Yar's chest. Wow, now we've got chestnut hair dye. Which one do I use? <laughs> Should we keep. This is a question that will be answered by you guys when this video goes up. Should I keep. Uh, should I keep Dixon's hair azure or should I change it to either charcoal or chestnut? That'll be your comment to decide. Or Star Town to Stain Tusk. Now we talk to him, not shoot him. Howls and 
trial. Yar Yar is dead. The Banshee is avenged. Three cheers for our bunny rescuers. Okay. So, that was Ironstone Inlet. I was hoping that that did not take as long as most other quests did. But it did. Anyway. I think our inventory is full. So I think we'll have to... Tell some shit before talking to, uh... What's the game up here in Nils Cage? If I can get out of the fucking water. Okay, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Boots of strength. Yeah. Okay, so that was Ironstone Inlet. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Peace.